The situation was not made any easier for hospitals in the southeast. Last night, a significant water leak took place at Queen Alexander Hospital in Portsmouth. No patients or staff were harmed, but as a result of the floods, patients were forced to use other hospital services in the southeast. This has added onto already long waiting lists, which has put even more pressure on NHS staff who are feeling worn out from the effects of the pandemic. I think we've had to mobilise the whole of our um, workforce across the organisation. And whilst in the first wave that was um, relatively easy to do because everybody had a very much a kind of in it together fighting spirit, the longer that the pandemic has been going on, the harder that's been because um, people are tired, exhausted and also have done it now a number of times. Um, so it's, it's getting harder every time we have another wave. Home carers are also having to do extra hours due to the amount of patients staying at home instead of going to the hospital. I think that people in care, they have a very strong mental attitude. So when COVID hit, we all literally just got on with it. You just get on with it. You know what you've got to do, so you do it. Now that we've come to coming to the end of it, so to speak, you can see that little light at the end of the tunnel. I was talking about it the other day. I think people are starting to mentally crash. The stress is getting to people. Matthew Welch, South Today, Limington.